Hello, this is Winston from Parkway Drive here at Diffus, and this is my top five Star Wars characters. Alrighty, we start with number five. This is very difficult for me, I love Star Wars. Number five is Boba Fett, the coolest armor, the character with the smallest screen time in any of the movies, the original movies that went on to become the favorite. So you gotta give him credit for that. And also he has, yeah, he has a jetpack. Also, the, the series is pretty rad. Number four, Ahsoka Tano. I'm a very big fan of the Clone Wars animations and everything that's gone after it. And I really appreciate that character's story art and the fact that um, they could make it a kid's animation show and have it evolve all the way to the point where it's relatable for adults. And she's a very interesting character. And what they've done makes me really happy. And the Clone Wars final arc was incredible. Number three would be Palpatine, Emperor Palpatine. When I was a kid, the Emperor scared the hell out of me watching Return of the Jedi. I think he's a really interesting character that has very iconic lines and a very cool way of speaking and can shoot force lightning. So why not? <laughs> but yeah, I'm a big fan of someone can, who can manipulate an entire galaxy to take control. Number two, this is gonna be really controversial. Number two for me is Anakin, Darth Vader. Probably the most important character in the entire Star Wars movie pantheon. And he doesn't take number one, but the story is absolutely incredible. As icon the most iconic movie villain of all time, the fact that the story behind it is so much deeper than just a villain is absolutely awesome. Plus the Rogue One scene is one of the greatest things I ever saw on the cinema. When it's butchering that entire corridor, it's insanely badass. Number one, the, the controversy. I never thought I would say this when I watched Phantom Menace. Darth Maul for my number one character because he was the coolest thing that I thought I was gonna see on screen when Phantom Menace came out and I was so excited for new Star Wars movies. And then they did so little with the character other than it just being kind of cool. And it was a wasted character until he came back. And when he came back, he turned into one of the most interesting characters in all of Star Wars and had one of the most amazing story arcs that anyone has put together. One of the most iconic voice acting moments as well. And plus he was the guy that brought saber staffs into Star Wars, two two-sided lightsabers. And it was like the first time we got to see those really rad Jedi Sith duels actually play out rather than it being just old men and Vader. So there's my top five. I will be bringing my Star Wars dissertation to all of the universities around Germany this summer. Come and watch me talk about Star Wars for five hours.